Apparently, there are some Mythic Dawn spies sniffing around Bruma, a little too close to Cloud Ruler Temple. What can I do for you, ma'am? We always see them near the runestone at dusk. They aren't too woodcrafty, but Grandmaster Joffrey has forbidden us to range too far from the walls. But it seems that you have been given the freedom to attack the enemy that we all crave. Good luck. We will keep the Emperor safe here. Don't worry. All right. Said something about dusk. That be the case. First, we'll go find the stone he's talking about. So that looks like what he was referring to. Alright, so we need to wait till around 6 o'clock or so. See if they come sniffing around the rune stone. I guess they're trying to keep an eye on whatever's going on at Cloud Ruler Temple. Don't know how much they know about Martin. Apparently, somebody's gotten word to them. My guess would be the Mythic Dawn has spies everywhere. I mean, for them to hold their meeting place under the Imperial City itself. My guess is we're going to find them uh, all over the place. Okay, well, it's it's about dusk, give or take. Oh, okay, well, somebody's nearby. There we go. Don't know where. For Lord Dagon. For Lord Dagon, okay. Yeah, whatever. I guess the next thing you're going to tell me is you're not afraid to die. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Nice. Continue to search for spies and locate their base in Bruma. Alright, well Captain Bird's name keeps coming up, so I guess we'll go locate him next. Is he in the castle, or is he at the... Uh, that's cool. We're right there, anyway. Might as well enjoy the countryside here. Pick a few plants along the way. I've got so many alchemy ingredients, it's, it's just ridiculous. I did the same thing in Skyrim. would have, like... Oh, man. I couldn't tell you how many of each type of thing. Pick every single blue mountain flower I see along the side of the road. And tundra cotton. And here it seems to be uh, what's most common. Motherwort sprigs seem to be everywhere. Some places aloe vera plants grow all over the place. I think Anvil has a lot of those. All kinds of uh, mushrooms like funnel caps and stuff like that. I 
Nothing like Elf Root and Dragon Age Inquisition, though. Holy crap. I couldn't pass those things up for anything. It's like it's some kind of problem I had or something. Hurry up. Go take your break. Good. What is it? I'm Captain Bird, commander of the Bruma Guard. Except for Gerald coming back from a trip down south, things are pretty quiet. Not much travel right now with the Oblivion Crisis. I've told my men to keep a sharp eye out, but I've had no reports of any strangers in town. What about you? Turned up anything suspicious? God's blood. So she was the spy? <laughs> Seems there's no one you can trust these days. Since you're working with Cloud Ruler Temple, I'm going to authorize you to search Gerald's house. I'll pass the word to my men. We won't interfere. I trust that you'll handle things appropriately. The less I know about it, the better. Stop talking. Enough. He's just snarling at me. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have official permission to go loot through Jarl's stuff. She's dead. I'm sure she won't mind. Came back from a trip down south. Well, that doesn't tell us a lot. I mean, we're in Bruma. It's about as far north as you can get. Everything's south of Bruma. In Cyrodiil. But I guess the significance of that would be some mythic dawn meeting or something, right? To get her orders to uh, come and investigate Cloud Ruler Temple. No other reason for her to be here specifically. Alright, simple house. I seem to remember there being a trap door of some kind. I mean, we have a basement key, right? And I don't see a basement door, so that means there has to be something hidden somewhere. There we go. Yes, the days of looking in every single crate and barrel have long passed. Early on when we're just a beggar in prisoner's rags with a wooden stick and cloth shoes on. No, no, potato sack shoes on. It was necessary to look in every single crate and barrel, to grab every head of lettuce, every husk of bread, every repair hammer, and stray piece of gold that we could find. Uh, those were the days. Any other, onf off any other information on the Imperial information who helped rescue Martin from Kavach? So when they sacked Kavach first, I'm guessing they were looking for Martin specifically. They just didn't know who he was or something. They didn't know he knew who he was exactly. So the whole idea was just to destroy the entire town. I mean, they had to have targeted that first for a reason. So it had to have been someone pretty close to the emperor himself to have uh, passed along the fact that the emperor even had an heir. That was like a closely guarded secret. Probably a, a spy within the blades. I mean, all that may be a known thing, you know, actual lore. I, I, I've just never heard it or read it anywhere. I'm just guessing. Well, other than some stray rats, I guess this is their super secret spy escape tunnel down here through the basement. Nothing else. Been nice to have found a whole pack of Mythic Dawn down here. Take them all out. There you go. Like I say, uh, lesson than to deal with later.
That's how I look at it. Hmm. Wonder if we'll have some reason to come back here later. Still, there's more than one spy. We got Jarl or Gerald or whatever her name is, but uh, there's more than that. There was a couple mentioned in the those little orders right there. We'll go give this to Joffrey really quick and then see what else he wants us to do. I'm assuming we'll have to go take care of the rest of them, right? What have you learned about the spies? This makes for grim reading. The mythic dawn did not take long to locate Martin again. The document speaks of two agents. You need to eliminate both of them. The plans you found make it clear that the mythic dawn will soon move against us here. You must eliminate their agents in Bruma. Yeah, probably too little too late though. I mean, all the spies are just passing along information. The real threat well, if that's already on its way, then... Well, I mean, I, I agree. Just go kill the spies regardless. One less Mythic Dawn agent in any way, shape, or form is, is a good thing. But, uh... It's going to take a whole lot more than that. Whatever this, this Dawn that's approaching, this cleansing, this whatever... Whoa! Probably having to do with doing away with everything good that's left in the world and making way for, uh, I don't know, whatever's hiding behind those uh, oblivion gates, right? Come and uh, take over the world, right? Conquer the world and do away with good and raise up a throne of evil and blah, 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 and all that stuff that these fanatics want to do just so that. Uh, I mean, I wonder how they I think that's going to end well. Destroy the world, and then what do you have left to live in? Well, they have Mancar Cameron's Paradise. Room for everybody, huh? Mm, yeah, okay. Well, good luck with that. Okay, so I was hoping maybe if there was another spy, I could probably catch him down here. This is obviously the little secret hidey hole. Oh, crap. I'm not trying to waste y'all's time. Not sure where I'm supposed to go. I don't even have a quest marker on this. Sometimes Oblivion doesn't really hold your hand. They kind of let you figure out things for yourself. Being uh, in with the Thieves Guild? It might be wise to find a beggar. And see if they know anything. They seem to be the eyes and ears in each town. They come in handy for more than just, you know, Thieves Guild quests. Pretty sure we used them on an on a uh, Dark Brotherhood quest, and I think even a Mage skill. I think. Anyway, they definitely come in handy. They definitely watch and listen. Oh, I was hoping to pass some time. I'll go try to find Captain Bird again and see if he has anything else for me. See if there's any beggars around. I'm not not seeing any. Any other time they're on every single corner asking for a septum, but uh Hmm. Let me ask this guard real quick. There's no problem, is there? Not on my watch. Captain Bird will know for sure though. We all report to him. Bye. Well then, Captain Bird it is. After we get done dealing with these spies, I think I'm going to go uh, drop some stuff off at home. Carrying around things like Daedric battle axes and stuff like that. That takes up a whole bunch of inventory space. Some things I'm just collecting just, I don't know, for souvenirs. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me. I, I, I don't even have an answer for it. Habit. 
things that I've kind of always done in these games. And all the inevitable loading screens to go find Captain Bird and hope that he's in the... That looks like him right there. Make it quick. I trust that you'll... I make sure my guards treat the local Nords and their ways with respect. Just go away. I don't hmm. I wonder if I could get him to... What? Get his approval up, and maybe then so, he'll have something so new to... Oh, wow, his approval is at four? <laughs> that works for me. I trust that... No, nothing new from him either. Okay, I'm going to go find a beggar, because it's, it's not giving me anything. Usually when I'm at a complete loss of where to go, a beggar will point you in the right direction, or at least tell you who to go talk to. <laughs> what do you need? Not on my watch. Captain Bird will know for sure, though. We all report to him. Captain Goodbye, Bird doesn't know anything. Company. The Fighters Guild has a new master, and Orion is back. Stop talking. Enough. <laughs> Stop talking. If he wasn't so busy snarling at me, he might recognize a new guild master. Show some respect. All right, let's go find a beggar. Walking oh, around barefoot in Bruma? It's got to be cold out. Must be a beggar. Good day. Not that I can think of. People are mostly staying home, what with all the troubles in the world. Have mercy. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. He looks so sad. He's so full Nothing of crap, too. To mind. Of course, my memory sometimes ain't what it used to be. Ah, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, it seems I saw someone looking out the window at Gerald's house the other day. Someone I'd never seen before, when Gerald wasn't home. You see what I mean? Now, if you'll excuse me, all this talk has given me a powerful thirst. Thank you kindly. But what about having just enough gold to feed your children? Uh-huh. Now, well, we've already been here twice. Let's see if anything's changed. There's somebody. You cannot escape the master's vigilance. Oh, really? Okay. Well, you can't escape this katana. I do not fear death. Well, that's a good thing for you. Now, well, that's the spies. But whatever's coming, it's coming. Spies or no. I think they've already done their job. If they didn't know Martin was in Cloud Ruler Temple, they wouldn't have had spies in Bruma in the first place. The fact that they've been here for who knows how long. About the time that you discover there's a spy, it usually means they've already done the damage, you know? Whatever they were looking for, they've already passed it along, committed their treason, or done whatever. Yeah? What have you learned about the spies? Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The gods did not idly choose you as their agent, whatever you may think. But we have not eliminated the threat against Bruma and Cloud Ruler Temple, only delayed it. I will warn the Countess of the danger. You should speak to Martin. I believe he has made some progress with the Mysterium Xarxes. I will send word to the Countess at once of the danger of Bruma. You should speak to Martin about his progress with the Xarxes. I've deciphered part of the ritual needed to open a portal to Cameron's paradise. The Xarxes mentions four items needed for the ritual, but so far I have only deciphered one of them. The blood of 
the Daedra Lord. In fact, a Daedric artifact are known to be formed from the essence of a Daedric Lord, from whence they derive their great power. Not an easy thing to come by, obviously, but we will need a Daedric artifact. Bring it to me when you have acquired one. I've learned that the Mysterium Xarxes is both the gate and the key to Cameron's Paradise. In some sense, the book is Cameron's Paradise. Manka Cameron bound himself to the Xarxes when he created his paradise, using dark rituals which I will not speak of further. A gate can be opened from the outside, however. It will be more difficult, as I will have to temporarily bind myself to the book. But I believe it can be done. I will continue working to decipher the arcane items needed for the binding ritual. I think I'm close to deciphering more of the ritual. I hope to have made some progress by the time you return. Well, I'm not coming off of Zero Star, so we're going to have to find something else. Yeah. I've uh, located a few shrines. There's several that we could just go grab. Go do whatever quest. We're, we're leveled high enough to do uh, pretty much all of them. Namira's Shrine. Namira. Oh, that sounds good. We'll go do that. That's, that wasn't an artifact I was going to use anyway, so... That'll work. I guess we'll head there next. So I will meet you at Namira's Shrine on the next one. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, and click that button up top. If you want to catch the rest of this playthrough, you can click that image in the middle. It should send you straight to the playlist. I'll try to throw some tabs up here, too, for those of you that are on, like, mobile devices and stuff. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one. You take care. Bye-bye.